So my name is Osbert Parker. I'm an animation studio here, I'm an animation director, and I've been thinking about an idea about how to get students to talk to each other from different departments. And I've always felt as though working on a project, a creative project that allows uh, students to play together and to come up with stories is always a great start. So the project is called Lost Luggage. So two of you will go in there and pick one case. And the project is about students being given a bag or choosing a real bag that's been lost or unclaimed luggage from the airport, opening it up, working in a team of about seven to nine students, opening it up, going through personal items and creating an artwork in response to real items. You can work as a team if you want to, in a big team, or if you feel as though someone's more drawn to the shoes, you can divide down into smaller teams of three. Her luggage seems to be fancy, like more than going out, sort of dressing up a little bit. We acquired the bags yeah. by going to an auction and purchasing them because I'd seen programs called Baggage Wars and they would go there and it was all very much about commercials, about making money. But I felt as though it was rich with data and rich with creative possibilities and rich with stories because there are personal items. The process was to go to the auction and bid on bags that we felt would contain these stories. And you'd have to select really by intuition, size of the bag, weight of the bag. And only once we had bought the bag, Bags, which 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 was very cheap really for us it was a gold mine because they were real people's items so they contained real stories so it's it started off we got lots of stuffed teddies and a lot of child's um, toys and we decided to take it um, about sort of about memory and sort of deconstructing all the different um, teddies using their stuff in to create So, what, what did you get from it? What was this, this character? That we tried, uh, so we explored the, the materials and we decided to, we realised that we thought he was a very fat, uh, laid back person. Form of that, we actually explored that. So we tried exploring more. So I said we, we tried exploring within the space. I take pictures of them very nicely and just one, two, three, so we can get like a nice idea of what the space is without putting this on display yeah. Friday. So the suggestion we made was that you continue constructing the environment, the diorama, just with, about the, that revolves around the character yeah. and what he does and photography, yeah. making it clearer. Yeah. 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 
is and the other people that make it work. But overall, I think the group is actually it's close to each other, so we actually make it work. I guess for us, we are more like organised planning out if it's actually possible to do what we want. Uh, so for us, it's been more like interesting to actually do that and be able to work. Yeah, when, when, it was, when the first uh, thoughts about the project were brought to my attention, so basically um, lost luggage was introduced to me, I, I thought that it was one of those things that we need to do, not need to, have to do. Um, so it's not necessarily an add-on or anything like that, it's an essential practice in any art and design school. Um, not the theme itself, but the activity and the way the activity is structured. So, from my point of view, listening to uh, you and to Ozzy uh, talk about it, this uh, this is a you know came across as high energy, high octane, high volume, you know, which I think is important. Not necessarily everything that happens in these places that's off the curriculum or off the radar is necessarily high volume, but this sounded like something that people could see. It was going to be very noticeable. It's going to be very centre of attention. Um, the energy levels, uh, you know, that bits of the content in there which were to do with collaborating across disciplines and allowing students to take the lead on the process of collaboration um, and you know have, not really necessarily having an opinion about why the students were getting involved but giving that that amount of space to uh, development within the project um, so the energy there comes from this, this sort of trust the element of trusting not just uh, each other as colleagues but also the students as, as partners in learning uh, and as partners in in, ex in in the process of discovering about, about their own potential um, and then the high octane stuff was just the fact that there was so much um, thought gone into how it looked, how it felt, how it was presented, what people were going to perceive as being the opportunity uh, and how much attention it was going to get so it was going to really sort of energise the entire space of the building so those were all things that needed, you know, needed celebrating and, and in the end needed a little bit of resource as well. How did you find working, working with everybody? With everybody? Um, well, it was very interesting um, because it's the first time we get to work with people from different fields. Um, and it's very interesting to, to go into different workshops than our own uh, and different studios and to learn uh, things that people from other courses do. Uh, so it was, it was very, very nice. Uh, and we managed to combine different pieces of work from people in different areas and combine it all in one single uh, work of art. So yeah, we're very pleased with, with our work. Mia is the mind behind the psychopath uh, who who is the, the guilty of, of this situation happening here. Um, he basically uh, likes torturing vegetables because he has a childhood trauma. So, yeah, so he just left uh, his luggage and ran away, but this is how they found the airport bathroom after he is, uh, yeah, after he just shows his behavior in this place. So, yeah. That's our project. The bag that we got, we opened it up and it was full of just clothes. But the interesting thing was that half of the clothes were really, really beautiful. We worked out Moroccan traditional dresses, sort of head scarves, sort of embroidered and things. So we got that in there for all. Um, and the, the other half, they're all these slop clothes, so good comfort clothes, stains on, they were sort of off white. We had these. I mean, I think if we can get into a pattern of programming for the school where we just not just allow people to be more uh, more confident and more assertive about what their ideas, but actually give them the resource to do that, then hopefully you will engender an environment where the, the long-term community of learning uh, just passes forward benefit and uh, you, can, you can source the quality of the learning experience just by walking into the building, so they get picking up on the ambience and the atmosphere of the place because clearly for any degree student, the majority of their learning comes from themselves. So this, this process, as a benchmark process, gives us a lot of evidence of how you can access that willingness to learn.